fall day and we've had our first big heavy frost which uh, I'm sure has uh, wiped out several of the spiders in the prairie, so I'm gonna go check on today a little bit. But um, wanted to show you some clips. So before I do that, let me shake my tree here, <laughs> see what happens. <laughs> well, <laughs> as you can see, uh, I have big, big leaves here that come down on this particular uh, empire tree. And uh, when it comes to raking, it's uh, more like picking up leaves. Anyway, um, I went out to find some shamrock spiders, so I want you to sit back and enjoy uh, my little shamrock spider Central hunt. Gentle squeeze. There she is. Nice spotted pattern. I'm going to leave her alone so she can go back up into her uh, house there. She's back on her egg there, egg sack, and just adding a few little minor touches that she wants to do. Well, here comes my little lady. And a bit shriveled from laying her eggs. But, uh, relatively healthy still at the moment, which is a good thing. Maybe she's out exploring. Pretty energetic, uh, bouncing back after making her uh, egg nest and looking pretty good at the moment. I'll have to see if I can get her a couple of flies. I'm not sure if she'll eat or not. We can uh, certainly see if that will work. I always did enjoy shamrocks. They're a nice nice spider so she may have several days of life here um, before she uh, loses that battle she just is really moving around here good to see makes me glad to see that uh, she's in such great shape well she paused a little bit so I can get some nice shots of her And no, I don't leave comments. Uh, they never uh, bite me. <laughs> two weeks now, a good two weeks, and the uh, uh, shamrock uh, spider has just been drinking water, not eating anything. 
which I expected would happen. And she's uh, quite shriveled now and not as energetic as she was. So let me bring her out here. We'll, we'll show you what she's doing today. Here's the uh, cage I have her in here, a little container, habitat. And you can see her, she's right up here in the corner. And uh, let's see if we can get her out and see if she'll uh, walk around on my hand a little bit. Um, I think we'll be able to get her out. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Want to come out, girl? Oh, here she comes. She's still pretty energetic here. That is really surprises me after not eating for at least a good two weeks now. I am very impressed how well she is doing. And she's still got, obviously, some ability to make uh, webbing, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> so, let's not waste any more of your precious webbing, because I know that is how you lose your energy. It takes a lot of uh, enzymes to make that webbing in uh, these spiders, especially at this stage in um, the end of their life cycle. So good to see her do doing so well. <laughs> so there's a good close-up of her inside my shirt here. Well, I'm going to put her back into her little habitat here with her egg. And um, we will uh, continue to watch her and see how she does over the next week. See if she's still, still with us. Otherwise, uh, we'll see what uh, we can see come spring when her spiderling starts to hatch out. A lot more energy than I ever dreamed she'd have by now. But uh, I'm still glad she's with us, and uh, I will continue to observe her and uh, film her as she uh, approaches her soon-to-be demise, as is the way of all spiders this time of year in the fall, at least for these uh, orb-weaving type. I can't type. believe it, but I just gave her a fly, and she caught it in a little web she made, and she is wrapping it up. And we'll be dining on this fly in a little bit. Well, it's been five weeks now since uh, my shamrock spider laid uh, her egg and covered it, her eggs and covered it with an egg sac. And as you can see today, it's um, snowing out. <laughs> and I'm getting covered with snow here. Uh, so, it's uh, winter's beginning to come here to Michigan. 
and this shamrock spider is, believe it or not, still here with us and still doing just fine. It, uh, she just shocks me. So I gave her a, a fly and uh, she made a little web, grabbed the fly and ate it. Who knows? This may be whole new territory for me as far as investigating a shamrock and how long they survive after an egg in captivity. So we'll see how this pans out. Right now I'm just enjoying uh, the spider being here and still uh, being very energetic. Uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care now.